James Bond keeps it simple when pairing his hosiery with the suits. Though some people like to draw attention to their ankles by wearing boldly colored or patterned socks, or these days not wearing socks at all, James Bond downplays his ankles when wearing his suit by matching his socks to his suits, to his shoes, or to a midway point between the two. The standard method of pairing socks with an outfit is to match the color of one's socks with the color of one's suit or trousers. Doing so increases the visual length of the leg by extending the color of the trousers to the shoes, especially when the trouser hem rides up when seated. It also downplays trousers that are too short. Additionally, this method helps the shoes to stand out, especially when the color of the shoes contrasts with the color of the socks or trousers. Here you can see Sean Connery pairing dark brown socks with his dark brown suit in Thunderball. When matching socks to one's suit or trousers, the shade of socks should be the same. If an exact match is not possible, a shade towards that of the shoes is preferable to help ease the transition to the shoes. Ian Fleming dressed James Bond in the Moonraker novel in this method. Ten minutes later, in a heavy white silk shirt, dark blue trousers of navy serge, dark blue socks, and well-polished black moccasin shoes, he was sitting at his desk with a pack of cards in one hand and Scarn's wonderful guide to cheating open in front of him. Here you can see an example of Roger Moore matching tan socks to his tan garbanine suit in Octopussy. Throughout the films, James Bond often matches his socks to his suits, and it is particularly noticeable when he does so with lighter colored suits and his usual dark shoes. Even with darker suits, the subtle effect of pairing his socks to his suit looks elegant. Matching the sock color to the shoe color is the simplest option. It is not wrong to match socks and shoes, but it is never the most flattering, most stylish, or most adventurous pairing. Trousers that are too short are emphasized by matching socks to the shoes instead of to the suit. It can also create a boot effect, which may or may not be desirable. However, with boots, it actually can be a good look to extend the line of the boot up rather than the suit down. We see this with Daniel Craig matching black socks to his black shoes in Spectre. Matching socks to the shoes, especially if the shoes are black, has a place. If navy or a charcoal suit is so dark that it may read as black, black socks are a good choice instead of pairing socks that are a lighter tint of the suit's color. This provides a smooth transition from the suit to the shoes. Another good reason to wear socks that match the shoes instead of other parts of the outfit is that it is easier. Packing for a trip can be simplified by only packing socks in the color of one's shoes, which is possibly why we so frequently see Bond wearing black shoes with his suits as he's always on the road. There's no rule that says socks must match either one's suit or one's shoes. Many stylish men match their socks to other parts of their outfit, such as a tie or shirt, but this is not something that James Bond does. It is too dandy for a man who dresses in a more subdued manner. Socks can also be chosen to complement the outfit without matching any part of it. It is important that socks harmonize with the outfit, particularly with the suit and shoes. With a light colored suit and light colored shoes, socks would also be light. With a dark colored suit and dark colored shoes, socks should also be dark or saturated in color. The key is to not have too much contrast, such as a dark suit with pale socks, since that can look jarring. Socks can be fun and bold, but they need to balance with the rest of the outfit and should never be the focal point of an outfit. Socks can also act as a transition between a suit and shoes that have high contrast. In Casino Royale, James Bond effectively bridges the gap between his light gray suit and dark brown suede shoes with tan socks. Sean Connery does the same in Goldfinger when he pairs dark gray socks to connect his light gray suit with his black shoes. In A View to a Kill, Bond makes a poor choice when he wears black socks with gray stripes combined with a tan suit and burgundy shoes. Black and gray may be neutral colors, but the socks look mismatched when surrounded by brown tones and gives too much weight to the feet. When it comes to the modern no sock look, this is not an option. Socks are mandatory with suits. Warm weather odd jackets and trousers are the most formal one should wear without dress socks, though going sockless should be left to warm weather casual wear. Most leather shoes are designed to be worn with socks. If one chooses to wear no socks with lined shoes, no show socks are a must. No show socks, also known as loafer liners, invisible socks, or footy socks, give the sockless look while still protecting the shoes. Over the calf socks, which sit just below the knee, are the most formal type of sock. These socks stay up well without slipping down and ensure that the bare leg never shows when walking or sitting. You can see this in Skyfall where Daniel Craig wears mid-calf socks. James Bond usually prefers mid-calf socks, also known as crew socks with the suits, but they tend to slip down and may show calves when seated. Though James Bond may currently be into the fashionably tight look, he always wears socks with suits. 
at least he always does in the films. In the original novels, Ian Fleming dresses Bond in a suit with sandals, presumably and hopefully without socks, for the tropics in Thunderball. He was wearing a very dark blue lightweight single braced suit over a cream silk shirt and a black knitted silk tie. Despite the heat, he looked cool and clean, and his only concession to the tropics appeared to be the black saddle stitched sandals on his bare feet. Fleming did not always dress himself or Bond in the best taste. Unlined casual shoes without socks would have been a better choice, but it's still not an ideal choice. There you have it, gents. That is the way you can bring a little bit of Bond into your own sock drawer. Thank you to Matt Spazer over the Susan James Bond for working with me on this video series. And if you want to see additional videos, let me know down in the comments below. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Mm -hmm.